<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Grill. Back at it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking a little more spiffy this morning or this afternoon. Got my name badge on. Going to a networking, I guess you could say a networking event, but it's an event being held by a um, real estate company. And it's, I think it's real estate. Well, it's at a real estate office and I just, I just know it's a networking event and they're going to be talking about business taxes and property filing your stuff with the IRS. Y'all know I got Rob Turner. His information is in the description. Um, also, if you go to my playlist, um, business interviews, you'll see uh, <clears throat> me and him talking about taxes and stuff. And ironically, and it's cool that a lot more people are talking about it, but me and Rob have been talking about it for like the last couple of years. And um, people are just now starting to catch on that yeah we need to make sure our taxes are right but i will caution you on this make sure anybody who you're listening to that they actually have a background in that not just some random notary or notaries or anybody talking about taxes or people just bringing somebody to talk about it but they need to be a certified public accountant they need to be a certified tax person um that's who you need to be really hearing it from okay um just Yes, people, we can gain knowledge and learn stuff and then share it, but they need to be a tax person. That's why you don't really hear me talking a whole lot about taxes and anything that I've said concerning taxes and what notaries can get for us tax breaks is what I've already talked to Rob about and made sure that I'm saying it correctly. OK, so you also need to ask these people with their background, where they're getting their information from. Um, and all of that and you know and especially if they're saying well this ain't legal advice and all of that it's like okay cool i got that but are you an accountant and if you're not you're not a tax person then you got to take it with a grain of salt until you talk to someone so you'll be getting information it will enlighten you and all that and personally i don't think anybody should be paying these people for classes on taxes you need to be talking to an accountant, a real accountant. And like I said, my guy, his name is Rob Turner, professional accountant in income tax. I've been with him for over 20 years. If you've been looking at the videos in the playlist, you would know who he is. His information is on the video, scrolling across. So you look at the video, you'll see the banners. His information is there. Give him a call, fill out the form on his website and him and his staff will get back with you. Um, he works with all people in all 50 states <clears throat> and everything, okay? So, but that's where I'm going. I'm going to it primarily for the networking aspect to get myself out there more exposure um, and everything. So, more than likely, the people that's going to be there are probably going to be real estate agents because um, that's who this group is primarily targeted to, real estate agents. So, I'm just showing up <clears throat> because somebody I know gave me access to that okay so i'm gonna take advantage of it show up got my tag got my business cards got my digital business cards which i'm yes i'm growing in that i'm not a fan of the digital business card but i got my digital business cards and everything all set up so if i need to do that i will and everything so what i want to talk to y'all about real quick as i'm driving there um and this is a video the first part I always love talking about, but this part here I'm about to talk, I really didn't want to do this, but I'm going to do it just so I can see, so y'all can say that I did it now. And, and yeah, and I explain why I'm apprehensive about doing it, okay? So, as y'all heard me on Saturday or Sunday or whenever what day it was, I talked, you know, I was sort of fussing about the fact that people keep asking me the same questions and primarily about the marketing and getting orders and all of that. And people always will ask me about, you know, what signing companies are the best ones to sign up with? Who was the best companies for new notaries? There aren't really any companies that's out there marketing themselves as that. So, but I will say the companies that use new notaries the most are these three that I'm getting ready to say. And, well, actually four, four. These four that I'm about to say and and I'm gonna tell you the problem with that's going to be on your end, okay? It's not a problem on their end. It's going. It's a problem on your end as the notary, okay? I'm gonna share that with you in a second. So the three, the four companies, because at first I thought about three, and then I just remember, well, maybe five, okay? 
maybe five. The companies are CX Choice, the letter C, X Choice, C H O I C E, CXChoice.com. You have um, Notary Go, and then you have National Paralegal Notary. National Paralegal Notary, okay? National Paralegal Notary is on SnapDocs. CX Choice has their own platform and Notary Go has their own platform. So you sign up on SnapDocs, do a profile. I will say in your profile with National Notary Par uh, National Paralegal Notary, you need to put in your profile that you do debt settlements because that's primarily what they do. Um, with Notary Go and CX Choice, just do a good um, profile and they will send you orders as they get them in your area or near your area, okay? Um, the other two, they're on Snap Docs and they will work with newer notaries, but you, you trying to negotiate with them is probably mute. But I'm gonna tell you the names anyway, and the only way to get with them is to sign up on Snap Docs will be Coast to Coast. And um first class. Those two will work with new notaries. Um how lenient they are if you make mistakes i don't know <clears throat> i really don't so those two companies if you want to sign up with notary dash um just know that on notary dash the the signing companies that are on notary dash which notary dash is a notary platform they that database platform the, the signing companies on there will use you but they will be a lot more they'll be a little bit more pickier okay i'm just gonna tell you straight up they're gonna be a little pickier um but they will and coast to coast does a lot of their loan modifications through notary dash that's what i'm saying if you're on snap if you're on Notar if you're on notary dash there's a chance that you'll get orders from them okay so Here's the problem with you concerning this. Many of you have just flat out vehemently said, I'm not driving this far, I'm not driving that far. And right now it just seems like CX Choice, National Paralegal Notary, which they, you'll see that um, they use the initials NPN, and Notary Go, for whatever reason, they got a lot of clients their clients who have people that need notary work out in the boonies so knowing that you can sign up with these companies doesn't do any good when all three of them the ones that i just named they don't pay high they're not high paying companies and their client base has work that's way out sometimes up to an hour and two hours away the thing that you got to remember and understand and recognize and accept, and it's still up to you whether you accept it, is that nobody can control where the work is coming from. The lender is looking for people to do a deal, and those people are out in the boonies somewhere, 45 minutes from you. The title company is looking for people to do a deal, to, to, to service, and there's a lender that got people out in the boonies. So, unless you're willing to do the travel and the driving around and stuff, to be honest, signing up for any of those companies is going to be a waste of your time because you're not going to want to do the work when they send it. You're going to complain about it, start a YouTube channel, and start teaching classes about the fact that it's, it's, it's disrespectful and it's just dep deplorable and deplicable you know despicable that somebody's offering you those kind of deals that's what they do that's how, who they are okay as my angel angelo said when somebody shows you who they are believe them the companies have showed you who they are they showed you that their, their their um where they're at what they're going to pay where they're going to send you at so the question then is are you going to do it so 
I don't know. I mean, I know everybody keeps saying, I want to know what companies I can sign up with. The same companies that people have already made you pay them money to get. Those lists and stuff. The question is, do they have the work? And right now, a lot of them do not have the work. Here's what you got to take into account. And this here is the acceptance of what I just said. Think about yourself. If you're in a rural area, 45 minutes to an hour away from the metropolitan or the, the, the main city, and you have a notary thing going on, <clears throat> and you can't get out to them, that means what? Somebody got to come out to you 45 minutes and then go back 45 minutes to go home. Wouldn't you want them to take the time out and come service you? Yes, you live out there in the mountains somewhere. Yes, you live over there on the ocean front somewhere, away, you know, way away from the city. Yeah, you live out there in the backwoods. You might want them to service you and to provide you with notary services because you can't get out or your parents can't get out. And that's how I look at this. Um, ask yourself this. Those of you who are complaining about the location and the frequency especially the frequency of the work that's out here well in order for somebody to have a closing that means what somebody has to apply for a loan now the question is this can you can you apply for a loan right now for a mortgage of three hundred thousand dollars do you qualify to do that if you do then great but guess what more than likely you can't and guess what? There's a lot of people who are not in that position. So if they're not in that position, then guess what? There's not going to be any work. So this is where we're at, which means the work that is out there, you got to just grab it and, and go with it. But if you don't want to grab it and go with it because it doesn't fit your criteria that's based off of what some notary trainer done told you, then what are you going to do? You see what I'm saying? So that's this is why I don't like doing these kind of videos, because I'm not going to be like the rest of these trainers out here and mentors and other personalities and just say, here's the three companies you can sign up with. Boom, 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 boom. Tell you and then click off and say, OK, y'all have a good day. When I know I have the knowledge and I know that it's more to it than just telling you that there's companies out here and then go run it off and then watch my numbers go up on my video. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing. They give you something and then you go, oh, yeah, I got three companies and you aren't even thinking about all of the factors that I just laid out. You're like, oh, I got this. here. I'm going to get these. I'm going to get this work. And then you go tell your friends. And then next thing you know, boom, that person got three thousand, five thousand views on the video. But then the question still remains. Did any of what they said work? And that's really where it boils down to. And I'm not doing this video or any of my videos to quote unquote to so something can work. I'm trying to share information with you so you'll understand how it works. OK, so if you understand how it works, then you'll know how to make things pop for you. If you really want to know what's going on in your local area, because real estate is all local, <clears throat> what you need to do is search for a loan application loan application information that's going on in your area what's going on who's applying for loans in your area maybe just talk to your local bank or a couple of the banks and ask hey what's the um the loan application looks like because no one can get money from any bank without first what applying nobody can just walk up and say i want to buy that house and sign on the dotted line and then it's done unless they're doing a cash deal if they're doing a cash deal then boom no problem if they're not doing a cash deal then guess what they're going to have to apply for a loan and if they're not willing to apply for a loan then guess what or if they apply and they don't qualify there's no work for us that's how this works and i've shared this before in other videos so this is why these kind of videos are <clears throat> hard for me because I cannot in my personality just stand up here with, in my own good conscience and just tell you 
sign up for these signing companies and then turn the video off and then y'all just okay and then y'all well when i'm gonna get an order when i'm gonna get an order when i'm gonna get an order i'm just telling you when what companies you can sign up with i mean that's the t that's that's the normal way that these folk are doing stuff out here they just tell you what you want to hear and then they're like look i'm just i you you wanted to know i went and i, I just told you you see what i'm saying so i don't want to be in that position with with y'all i want to give y'all good great information so what you do with it now is up to you which means you're going to have to make the decision as to whether or not you're going to continue to reside in this business that's really what this boils down to that's really what it gets down to so if you're willing to go head on and take the orders that are laid out out there yeah you got to drive a long distance this that and the other if you are willing to do it then cool go ahead on knock it out make your money as much as you can but if you're not then the question then becomes how do you ooh, you just did a legal about the wrong mm, look at you trying to do illegal turns if you if you the question is how do you get them how do you make the, the the market better how do you get it to be what you want it to be and we're not in a position to do that so i hope you got value out of this video and i hope it did something great for you in your business thought process and and mindset and everything but honestly this is truly where we're at right now and that's why i work the way i work in this business because hold on just backing up because i honestly understand the way things are it took me about two years to really understand the flow of this business and that's why i keep sharing stuff with y'all and i know i be repeating myself over and over again but i'm hoping that it will eventually click in with you as to oh this is how the notary business or the mortgage industry which the notary business supports so this is how it works general notary is the same right now if there aren't people who have money to put in a trust money or a property and stuff to do a state plan why am i I'm, I'm trying to survive so that's what you have going on and it's not that there aren't people who want a state things but the question is at what frequency um other general notary work wills power of attorneys and all that it falls in the same category the tighter money is the more people are struggling and then like i've been seeing people talking about the interest rates are dropping go look at the reports there's reports out there i think i put some on my community channel there are reports out there that's basically saying even though the interest rates fell in december the re the um what was that the rush or the applications to apply for loans still didn't increase so just because the interest rates fell down to 6.7 or something like that it did not it didn't reflect in the number of loan applications whether refinance or purchases it didn't reflect and many of you are seeing it because it's not a whole lot of work out there so with all of these notary gurus out here jumping online and they're doing that because it's a tactic for them to get more people to join their program and spend money with them. Hey, notaries, the prop, the, the dot, dot, dot is the, the interest rates are dropping and people are back into the market. And those individuals are feeding right into the same system of lies, allegedly, that the news media is putting out there about, oh, there's nothing wrong with them. More. Everything is great. Yeah, people are still buying. But all you got to go do is look at the Fred, um, which is called the Federal Reserve Economic Data. Just type in F-E-R-D St. Louis. It's a big chart and you can look in there. You have to go dig, but you can find and you got charts in there that tells you what's the what's the interest. What's the um the loan application percentage? It's low. People aren't applying. They are not. And if they are applying for loans, it's really for HELOCs. Which means the HELOCs pay between on average 
depending on which company, if you with ServiceLink, they might pay more. But if you're not, you know, you're talking about 50 to 85. Coast to coast pays 35. Okay, I'm just telling you right up now. On SnapDocs, Acre Group, 50. On SnapDocs, Coast to Coast, 35. And I do both of them. If I get one from Snap, from um, Coast to Coast, I do it. 35, I pop it, go and knock it out. And actually, and, um, and then it was, who was it? It was another company, I don't forgot who. But it was another one that did it for 70. And that was on Snap Docs. So in other words, you see them, you got to take them and you make your money that way. But this is where it's at. So all of the, who the interest rates are, all these here graphics and pointing, ooh, the interest rates, look at this. They're not giving, going into the details. And that's where a lot of you are going to fail in this business at, is that you won't allow yourself to get a little bit into the details. Let's look beyond what this person is saying about, oh, interest rates are dropping. Let's go hop back in because now here's the swing. Oh, it was Google. It was real estate. Now get on the um, general notary. Now go to estate planning. Oh, guess what? Oh, guess what? Real estate again, general notary, estate planning, real estate, general notary, estate planning. It's a huge pendulum going back and forth over and over again. The moment it shifts, then they're popping out of the woodworks. Buy my course, buy my course, buy my course. And y'all keep falling for it and y'all going to have to grow up and stop falling for it. OK, so. This is why I don't like doing these kind of videos or trying to tell you here's the top three signing companies for new notaries. Because there's no way I can just say that statement, say the names of the companies and not give you the details behind it. Now, you do what you want to do with the, the information. I'm not trying to be mean or whatever, but I'm just tired of notaries complaining about doing work, but keep asking about where can they get work. And then when the opportunity for them to get work, they complain about it. And it's like. This doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So other people are frustrated, but what they're doing is they're feeding you what you want. Get the likes, the clicks, the views, get you to pay for stuff, make money off of you. And then they go off into the sunset and you still broke. That. So if you're tired of being broke, you got to figure something out and do something different. Make the sacrifice. And if you're not willing to make the sacrifice, then you won't see the results that you possibly could see. All right. Going in here to this event. Hopefully make some great connections. Talk to y'all later. Peace.